So have you ever had an image where you just have lots of little flyaway hairs around the outside of someone's head, particularly if, like me, you like backlighting? In this really short video, I'm going to show you how you can remove them in less than 10 simple steps. I'm Paul. This is Mastering Portrait Photography. <laughs> So here we have a really beautiful picture of a really beautiful lady. This is Libby. I photographed Libby over the years and she really doesn't need much in the way of retouching. But in this particular shoot, her hair, there's, a, there's dampness in the air and her hair has just sort of strayed out a little bit. And uh, with me liking backlighting, you can just see that I've managed to illuminate quite a lot of it. So how do I get rid of it really quickly? And I stress quickly. Ideally, you're going to go in and retouch each individual strand. But for the work that I do where... Um, I have lots of clients and I don't get paid to do proper magazine style retouching on very many of my images, but I really do want to reduce any flyaway hairs. So what we're going to do is first off, we're just going to grab the lasso tool, which is here just on your toolbar, and we're just going to draw around it, trying to make sure that every single flyaway hair is included. You don't need to be particularly accurate about this. I'm just going to work my way around. So if I speed that up so you can see that it's done. Okay, so now I've done that. What I'm then going to do is if you see any little areas where there's a gap, it's because the artificial intelligence in Photoshop is really, really good when it's doing a content aware fill, which is what we're going to do. I'm just going to give it a little bit more information by removing a little bit of that selection just in this tiny area here in the gap between her neck and her hair. And to do that, I'm going to hold down the option or alt key. So you can see it changes uh, my cursor to show minus. I'm removing stuff from, from the selection and I'm just going to remove a couple of little bits which will give the artificial intelligence a little bit more color to work with. And that way you don't get these odd changes of color in the final thing. And zoom back out. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to go to content aware fill. Uh, let me just drag that across uh, that way. And so what it's showing in this diagram on the left, all of the green areas are the areas that it is going to take samples from. So that's the areas that it's going to do. It's going to remove and fill in from. And the areas that are clear, well, that's the area that it's going to fill. I'm just going to double check and make sure it looks about right. It does. I think I've covered everything. If not, don't worry. I can come back to it later. Uh, this little window on the right hand side here, that's showing you what the image or the, the layer is going to look like when you've finished. One trick here is to make sure the output setting, this output setting here, is set to duplicate layer. Set that to duplicate layer. You can set it to current layer, new layer, uh, but in this instance you want a duplicate layer and that's going to give you exactly what you see in that right hand window. We're going to hit OK and you can see that it's gone. I'm now hit, going to do, I'm going to go to select and deselect or hit command and D or control and D and zoom out and that looks pretty good. It looks like Libby was never there and that's the idea. I'm going to just turn that layer off, go back to my background layer Again, I'm going to go to Select, but this time I'm going to go to Subject. And it's worked out which bits of this picture are Libby and which, picks are, which bits of it are the hedge in the background. I'm then going to inverse that. So I'm going to Select, Inverse. Then I'm going to click back on that top layer, that background layer. I'm going to re-enable it, and this time I'm going to hit a mask. I'm going to create a mask. Down here in the bottom of the Layers palette, I'm going to add a layer mask. And what it's done is it's taken that selection and created a mask from it. And you can see already that if I uh, turn this layer off and turn it back on, turn it off, turn it back on, you can see it's done a reasonably good job. Let's just zoom in a little bit. But if I click on the mask, you can see in the properties area up here, I've got this slider, the feathering slider. And what I can do is I can drag that across to the right. And what's that? what that's doing is it's just feathering in the edges of the mask. It's softening it. It's actually making the mask slightly smaller and so it's blurring the edges and that's enhancing the effect if you just remove completely all the flyaway hairs it's going to look pretty weird it's going to start to look like lego hair if you're not careful uh, but if you do it like this you just feather it in and then what i can do is i can just grab a brush any brush a nice soft one in this instance uh, let me just zoom out a little bit pick up my brush and if i want to include bits or exclude bits, I just paint. So uh, let's start by painting in black on the layer. 
on the mask rather i just don't want any of that mask i want to make sure none of that mask is creeping in on her skin as i adjusted the feathering i noticed it was just starting to creep in and i don't want that i don't want it to affect her skin now i'm going to paint in white and anywhere i paint in white it's going to bring that layer in it's going to show that layer through the mask so any little bits that I decide, you know what, I just like that to be a little bit less. So up here, there's a couple of strands of hair just sticking out now. And by removing the flyaway hairs, I've highlighted that. So all I'm going to do very gently is just to paint over those areas. And that's it. They're gone. So if I show you uh, before and I show you after... You can see how quick that was. It was less than 10 steps. We've done it in a couple of minutes. It's a really quick and easy way of getting the, rid at least of the worst of any flyaway hairs. If you've enjoyed this video, please do subscribe and leave us some comments down below. We love to read them. Also head across to masteringportraitphotography.com where there's a whole heap of stuff like this all dedicated to the craft of portrait photography. And until next time, be kind to yourself. Take care.